Who was Thomas Blamey, and why don't you know him? A Gallipoli veteran, Tom Blamey was Australia's Commander-in-Chief throughout World War II. David Horner, Australia's foremost military historian, wrote, Sir Thomas Blamey was Australia's greatest and most important soldier. To others, though, he was, and remains, a pariah. Born to rural poverty, the son of a Wagga drover, Churchill preferred to drink with him than meet Commonwealth Prime Ministers. So, was Tom Blamey a drunken womanizer and waster of men's lives, or a loyal soldier and devoted husband, caring only for his troops' welfare? My darling Olga, some of my boys thought I called them cowards today. My hope is they'll live through this so I can tell them how brave they truly are. Why did he insult his troops by questioning their courage? Was it spite? Or was he simply doing anything to avoid his country falling into Japanese hands? Why did he allow himself to be overshadowed by the show pony Douglas MacArthur who said, Australians aren't dying in sufficient numbers? Why, just seven years after his death, when over 300,000 former soldiers and Melburnians turned out to his funeral, was he Australia's most hated public figure? Blamey sacked generals, fought politicians, outraged British commanders, ignored journalists and berated the public while leading vigorous campaigns against the Nazis and the Japanese. He is the only Australian ever promoted field marshal. Australians either know nothing of him or think of him as that bastard Blamey. He was, truly, the Blamey Enigma. (laughs) 